Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Warpath. I'm the natural hat trick, Matt Sanchez, and with me, as always, is my brother from the very same mother, David23 Sanchez, and we've got an amazing show lined up for you tonight. David, what do we got for him first? Yes, so first up, Matty, we've got Daniel Torch, SPW resident, going up against the hotshot Spencer Scott and Playboy Zay Perez in a triple threat match. Absolutely. That's going to be an absolute barn burner. In our main event, the rivalry continues. The blood grudge continues as the high council, Midas Creed, teaming up with his friend and partner, Dante Daring, take on the appeal, Nathan Brick and Jason Xavier, as they defend their SPW Tag Team Championships in the main event. And it is going to be absolutely amazing. But... Before we get to any of those particular items, I need to remind everybody that we are coming up real soon. Ten days, everybody. Ten days until one supreme night. And we are already lined up for an absolutely amazing night. Already confirmed. We already know that Brian Cage is returning. And he will be going after the SPW Extreme Championship defended by Guapo Lupe, as it will be a fatal four-way with Guapo Lupe, Brian Cage, the aforementioned Daniel Torch, as well as just Zach. It is going to get real extreme real quick. We also saw last week that Jekyll's the, Jekyll's the Jester has laid down the challenge to both Scoot Robertson and Drake Frost, and we can confirm it here live, folks. Drake Frost has indeed accepted, and it will be a triple threat match for the SPW yes. Championship at one supreme night. Not, not just that, but we also already know that going up into one of our main events of that evening will be Sir Samurai going up against his mentor and trainer, the big, ugly J.D. Bishop, as it will be an I quit match. And if Sir Samurai utters those words, he has to leave SPW. It is going to be absolutely intense, absolutely pure insanity. What are your thoughts on those on those matches already, Dave? I mean, honestly, the one that's on my mind the most has to be the I quit match with Sir Samurai. He is... He's one of the most iconic guys in all of SPW. He's been, he is SPW, damn near. Like he, there is, a, it'd be a really different place without him. So the idea that it might even happen is perplexing. Um, and it's going to be a hell of a match. I mean, a lot of bad blood between those two guys, as, as you've seen in their past altercations. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Personally, I'm looking forward to that SPW championship match. Drake Frost and Scoot Robertson have been battling for what feels like literal years. Decades have gone by from this from this rivalry. And to have the uh, have the actual championship belt involved again just like it was last year, it's going to be it's going to be epic. I I cannot wait. But speaking yeah. of cannot wait, we need to get ready to get down to the ring, but before we do, Dave, you caught up with Torch, so let's see what Torch had to say. I'm here with Daniel Torch and for the past few months we've seen Torch with his lackey but he's riding solo this month torch what's going on yeah i figure you guys will want to get this out of me at some point so i might as well get it to you now my unnamed lackey that's one of my good friends robert veen i've known robert veen longer than i've been a wrestler that man saw me take my first bumps that's a man i can trust i've learned you can't trust anybody in this business i've known him longer than i've been in this business and robert veen has been over in Georgia for the past 10 years, wreaking havoc. He moved back and said, Torch, what do you got for me? I said, man, I got you. You're my guy. Robert V needs a, a leg up. He needs a, he needs a foot in the door. I got you. I got you, Robert. The problem is I brought you in for a reason, Robert V, and that was to help me win. I haven't quite been winning since you've been around. So I told him, sit it out. Whatever I have tonight, I'm going to go in there. I'm gonna show Robert like, hey, I don't need you. I've been doing it on my own. I don't need Robert Veen. True. I want him here. I want to help him. That's the kind of guy I am. Love helping my friends. But I don't need anybody. So tonight, I'm gonna to go out there, win the match, whoever it is. My eyes are set on that extreme title though. All right, well, good luck tonight, Daniel. Yeah. Luck. Let's see what happens next. Well, his eyes are on the uh, prize there, Dave, but he needs to keep his eyes on this match because he cannot underestimate anybody. 
Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely got his work cut out for him on this one, no matter who walks down, down that ramp. Here he comes, the pride, I guess, of Modesto, Daniel Torch, SPW's leader of the Black Parade here. You know, he, we, we've talked about this ad nauseum, I feel like, for the past couple of months, but Daniel Torch is a man on a mission, David. He has, he has his eyes set on that Extreme Championship because it's the last championship he needs before he makes, before he's considered a Grand Slam champion. Yeah, and honestly, if, if you had that one last one last fight to fight to win it, you'd be just as determined as he is. And you can tell just by the look on his face when he's walking down that ramp. He, that's all he cares about is the Extreme Championship. Well, here we go, some fresh blood into the SPW universe. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, making his way down from, from the Pacific Northwest out of Portland. He is Hot Shot Spencer Scott. He's well-traveled, he's well-trained, and he is an absolute madman in the ring. He, he, has a, he is all go, no stop. And that's something that we absolutely respect here at, the, at SPW. That's what most of these guys in the back of the locker room have as well. And if, he, if he's as good as you say he is, Matt, it should be a hell of a match. And there he is, the playboy, Zay Perez, making his SPW Universe debut as well. We've got both Zay Perez and Spencer Scott making their debut tonight. This is going to be awesome. I got to admit, Dave, it might be difficult for Torch because with this being their SPW de debut, he has no idea what to expect. That is true. It, the, both, he's going in blind against both of these gentlemen. And... Being the fact that Torch is at SPW, they've had the opportunity to, to watch his past matches through this show. Look um, how so, comfortable Zay was on the ropes right there, Dave. I'm not that comfortable on my yeah. own couch. He went full Burt Reynolds there for a second, didn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. All right, referee Lucas is in charge of the action tonight. He says ring the bell, and here we go. Oh, Torch with the oh. shot run right out the gate. Torch means business tonight. Dropping these men wow. with forearms left and right. Stacking them up in the corner. Torch with the shot to the back. He's going to the opposite corner. No. Oh, Spencer's oh. got the hot shot with a nice little kick to the to block there. Off the ropes. Ooh, a little double team there. Spencer Scott, Zay Perez teaming up on Torch. Torch up and under. Oh, atomic oh. drop into a drop kick. Wow. Zay Perez and Spencer Scott are on a roll already. Oh, Spencer Scott with the roll-up. One, two, kick out at two. Zay Perez is not going to fall for that. Off the side of the ropes. He goes over. He goes under. He goes up. Oh, slip through. Going back through. Up over again. Going back under. My goodness. The athleticism like of these men. Match. Oh, so much back and forth right here. Arm drag by Scott. Oh, Perez went for the arm drag. Scott Scott floated over into the cover. Two. Scott kicks at it, too. And this is a stalemate, ladies and gentlemen. These two clearly know each other. Oh, they're fighting. And Torch trying to make his way back into the ring. And these gentlemen said, no, thank you. Another roll-up. Count to two. Shot to the midsection. Spencer Scott but reverses. Oh, tilt a whirl, tilt a whirl, Ooh. backbreaker. That hurts, and he, he's sinking it in too. Absolutely, he's holding it there and putting the extra pressure on the back. That is that has got to hurt right there. Oh, nice little snap suplex. With the cover, one, two, kick out at two by Perez. The playboy is apparently not playing around. He has come here to win this, and he is trying his best to fight off hot shot right now. He sure is. Oh! Torch oh. grabs the man by the legs. 
throws him into the post face first. That has got to hurt. Showing him he does not appreciate getting kicked off the ring apron. And I would not either. Torch back in. Shot by Spencer Scott. Oh, nice quick arm drag. Another one. Oh, Torch sidesteps. Ooh. It goes for the elbow drop Ooh. and misses. A lot of quickness Oh, in and there's here, the guys. third arm drag. We go into a hold here. We've got Spencer Scott has got an arm lock on to Torch, who is down. Zay Perez is on the outside after running his playboy face into the post. This is not how you want to start this match if you are Zay Perez right now. Oh! Shot to the back. That was right to the kidney, too. That's a sensitive area. That hurts. That hurts. All right. Torch into the corner. Oh! Puts hot shot into the far, far corner. Here comes Perez. Shot there. Oh, Torch with a nice duplex of his own. Running kick to his face. Daniel Torch is talking mess to the kids in the crowd as per usual. Oh, shot to the midsection by Hotshot. Trading right hands. On your enemy, Daniel. Absolutely. Ooh, drops him down. He's got a little arm bar going here. He's also articulating the wrist and fingers, too. That does not look comfortable. Yeah, joint manipulation like that hurts. Oh, he Ooh. stomps on his hand. He's getting cerebral with it. That can come into play later. Anything that has to do with any sort of submission hold, it can really be affected if, you, if your opponent stomps on the hand like that. Rear chin lock here by Torch. Oh, dropping him into a nice little sleeper, it looks like here. Oh, Torch doesn't uh -oh, see Perez. Perez is stirring. Here. Perez climbing to the top rope. Shot shot, getting out. Oh, big cross body oh. takes out both by the Playboy. Two for one special by Playboy Perez. Oh, single drop kick there. One for Torch as well. He's got him in both corners. Splash in one Splashed. corner. Splashes Torch Splash. in the other corner. Another splash. splash. Oh, oh. oh, to the side of the chin, drops down oh, on him. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Torch right. rolls out. That is a smart move. Hot shot, Spencer Scott with a shot to the mid midsection. Throws Perez off the ropes. No, Perez slides into it and poses off. Nice oh. move by Perez. Look at the wow. agility, rolls him up. Two count. Oh, thrust kick to the face. Here comes Torch. Oh, Torch with a nice slam. Wow. Roll through. Oh, what a move. I got to tell you, Dave, I am impressed by these two kids from Portland. They are absolutely bringing the, bringing the heat. Yeah, I hope that they come back to SPW sometime soon if they keep Absolutely. wrestling like this, Matty. Big brain buster there. Hot shot. Looks like he's heading to the top rope. What has he got in mind? Torch is there. Torch throws him off. Oh. He hits the senton by... Torch comes in. Kicks him out. He's going to... One, two, three. Torch steals another he one. And he is out of there. So quick. Torch steals another victory. Hot shots. Spencer Scott had him where he wanted him, and Torch pushed him off and hit him. I think you're somebody. You ain't nobody. Torch letting him know how he feels. Daniel Torch is a wily vet, and he knew exactly what to do when he saw his opportunity, and he did not miss. He sure did not, Matty. And yet again. Daniel Torch is now taunting the children at ringside. See the way he stared that kid down at first, too? Oh, oh Torch. Wow. Putting that hooded. kid to shame. So kid. What a wow. match, David. I'll Good tell you what. I was extremely impressed with uh, Playboy Perez as well as uh, Hotshot Spencer Scott. They were absolutely phenomenal.
they did fantastic i honestly like two fresh faces coming into spw you never you never know what to expect with something like that but Dang, they pulled it off, and they put on a hell of a match with Daniel Torch. Absolutely, Daniel Torch's world is is well known up and down all of us, all of California, and to be able to go toe to toe with somebody who's so well respected, someone who's trying once again to become a Grand Slam champion, SPW is no small feat, and uh, and they yeah. went they went toe to toe. I'm absolutely no no uh, no disrespect to them. They put they put on one hell of a match. So uh, absolutely. Well, what we need to do right now, Dave, is we need to go take a quick break, and we need to go to check in with one of our sponsors. This week's episode of Warpath is brought to you by, well, it's the SPW Training Academy. Let's hear what they got to say. They are the most dangerous athletes alive. They have built a legacy inside the squared circle. They are brutal and aggressive. They are athletic competitors. And they are showmen. And they will stop at nothing to achieve greatness. Now, it's your turn. Join the SPW Academy and become one of them. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You can join the SPW Training Academy. Go check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Supreme Pro Wrestling Training Academy or SPW Training Academy. Uh, I've been in the Training Academy on a couple of different occasions, and i got to tell you, some of the best trainers in the entire world that I've met uh, and had a chance to work with, they are absolutely amazing. They have trained some of the most world-class talent, including the likes of Timothy Thatcher, uh, Johnny John Hennigan came through SPW at one point in time. Uh, there's a lot of up and coming stars that just recently were featured on it on AEW Dark. Uh, so if you want a chance to become the next superstar to come out of our area, please go check out the SPW Training Academy. Highly recommend. Highly recommend it. They will take care of you. Yes, they will. Well, with that, uh, I, I got to tell you, man, um, it is it's time, Dave. It is time. For the main event of the evening tonight, we are about to see the Tag Team Championships defended by The Appeal. Nathan Brick Woo. and Jason Xavier are going to be defending those belts. Of course, Lucian Delight will be in their corner, and tonight they are going up once again against the High Council. Midas Creed, Dante Darren looking for gold once again. This rivalry has been going on for quite some time, and every month it seems to escalate. So let's see where it's going to get us this month. Let's get down to that match right now. Let's do it. Here comes the High Council, Midas Creed, Dante Daring. These gentlemen are two of the best that SPW has to offer. They have been just grinding to get some gold around their waist, and I cannot wait to see it see the day that they do and i hope today is that day uh you're gonna keep hoping maddie these my, my boys the appeal they they are seasoned vets there's the re, there's a reason why they're already the champs and my money's on that they're gonna walk out with those belts again tonight matt well we'll see if it's gonna be a straight match my money goes on on thc but uh you know with the we've talked about it before lucian delight is such an x factor You can hear the SPW universe just giving all the love to the High Council. They they are one of the most beloved teams here in SPW. Well, you hear it, folks. That can mean only one thing. The champs are on their way. Here comes greatness. Look at the charm. Look at the swag. Look at the drip. Absolutely. Nathan Brick, Jason Xavier. I, I listen. Listen to these. Listen to the fans. Like, I, I honestly... These gentlemen are so... 
I don't want to say hated, but disliked in here. I mean, even last week when we had when we were talking about the Illumide match, you couldn't even hear Nathan Brick over the crowd. Listen to this crowd. They are visceral in their reaction. Some people are just jealous of greatness. I mean, look at these guys. How do you not hate them? They're so easy look to hate at this. because they're the so The front row amazing. crew is getting involved. They're just jealous. Look, look at how much. Look at the emotion running through our fans here in the front row. They know. They, they are absolutely hated. Dante Darren, Midas Creed waiting for them to get in. Oh, the dismissive little hand gesture there by Nathan Brick. They'll get in the ring when they're what they're the these are the champions. Show them some damn respect, you know? They'll get in the ring when they're damn well ready. Oh, what are we waiting for the uh where, are we waiting for the coat check girl for this uh for whatever this I'm gonna say faux fur is? You know that's not faux, man. You know that's not. That's top of the line. It's probably like a bunch of Arctic fox or something doubtful unless so unless Xavier's so father decided to foot the bill for some extra stuff I highly doubt that that's be true I mean th those pockets run deep man you've never seen the yacht it is pretty fantastic gutsy Gillespie with the call here that's right Zuzu fur is fake just like them Tell that to the caviar and the champagne. Oh, there they go, the THC. You can hear the crowd giving it up for them. They are absolutely beloved. And yes, you heard that right, folks. At a combined weight of 420 pounds, the High Council is ready to go. The SPW universe is, they're just getting tricked by, the, these guys just seem like they, they pity them, I feel like, because they're going up against such amazing champions. So they have to cheer for them because they feel bad. Near, 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 to the okay, Lucian. Gutsy Gillespie is absolutely one of the most appealing people in this building. She's actually quite fantastic. This is the, the one disrespect. time I will disagree with Lucia. The disrespect of this man. The, uh, look, at, look at Midas holding the ropes for her, too. What a gentleman. This man. I feel like giving someone the night off is a nice thing to do. It's more like community service, you know? Oh, my goodness. I, the well only thing done, astonishing. Though. He did a good job. He did a great job, man. The only thing astonishing about Nathan Brick is that he's still in this business. Uh, because he's a champion. As you can hear, the SPW Universe is chanting paper champ at them. And there it is. Referee Lucas showing off what they're fighting for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We're getting ready to start this main event of the evening. Lucian says you are not giving those belts to anybody other than me, Lucas. Absolutely. You gotta protect the uh, protect the crown, so to speak, right? You heard Xavier there saying that everyone in the crowd bought tickets to watch them. I think uh, some others may have a different theory on that. Well, they're there for some reason. Alright, Lucas check it in. Lucas says ring the bell, we are getting underway here in our championship main event. Oh, right out the Ooh, gate. Wow. Dante Darren is putting it into there for Xavier. Xavier down. Dante. Oh, spinning little heel Ooh. kick there. Kick to the chin. Standing drop kick. Dante calling in. Here comes Midas. Oh, oh, what a Ooh. chop. My goodness. That's got to hurt. Here comes There's Midas been, Creed, been ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice little splash in the corner. Setting him up. Oh, driving the shoulder deep into the midsection. Stow step up wow. kick as well. What teamwork. And a Northern that Lights throw, followed by a standing frog splash. These guys are out for blood early. What an absolute rabbit start. 
This is a hell Zombie of a start for the tag, but he couldn't make here. it. Oh, Ooh. little neck breaker there by Midas Creed. Xavier is in trouble already. Oh. Oh, another Ooh. chop to the chest. Midas Creed is doing some woodwork, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes Dante Daring. Off the ropes. Oh, to the ankle. Oh, the teamwork by THC. Wow. These guys, you could tell they uh, they might practice together, huh? Yeah, these these guys do everything together. They they eat together. They train together. They do other things together. Nice chop by Dante Daring. Creed tagging back in. Xavier is in trouble in that corner. He is absolutely... Oh. oh, nice shots to the neck. Oh. Kick to the shin. Oh, kick to the chest. Jason has been caught in the other corner this entire time. Now he's trying to fight out. He's making the tag. Here comes Nathan Brick. There we go. There he's it got is. created Let's by go the hair. Brick. Oh, oh, the double team off the ropes, clothesline Lariat. Here comes Brick for the cover. One, two, kick out at two by Creed. There you go. Cut off his half of the ring. Atta that's a good idea. That, that's got, oh, what a chop by Brick. Yeah, thunderous. Ooh, kick to the midsection. Creed fight, trying to fight out, but Brick is not going to allow that. He has got him in the corner, and he is putting the boots to him right now. Shots to the chest, and here comes Jason Xavier once again. There you go. Some quick tags. There you go. Keep each other fresh. Absolutely. Quick tags working in and out of the corner, keeping your man, keeping the other man on the other side of this ring. Cho choking him. Uh-oh. Oh, Jason Xavier dragging Midas Creed's face across the ropes. That hurts. That is gonna burn, Matty. Ooh, nice uppercut there by Xavier. Oh, nice little lariat as well. Oh, big back body oh. drop, or big, big drop there by a big side slam there by Jason Xavier. Two count, and Midas Creed is kicked out. That was quite a near fall. He almost had him Ooh. on that one. Hammering blows to the back of Creed here. That, that cannot feel good. Rolls the man away back into his corner just like he should. And here makes the tag to Nathan Brick. And here comes the champs. They have absolutely started to put on a clinic. They have been methodical, cerebral. Side rest, Russian leg sweep mixed with a big boot. Oh, what a move. There's Not cover quite one. The combos that the THC has, but that was a hell of a teammate move right there. That was a great double team, and it got them a near fall as well as Jason Brick. Or Jason, Jason, Nathan Brick gets the pin. Oh, look at the dirty, dirty cover there, and on top of that, puts the knee across the, the throat of Midas Smart Creed, and then throws there. a cheap shot at Dante Daring. Dante Daring trying to get into the match, and of course, the referee is trying to keep him out. And now here it is, the double team in the other corner. They are putting the boots to Creed. See, Dante Daring should know better than try to rush into the ring because he knows exactly what the appeal is going to do. They're going to take advantage of that opportunity and double team Midas. Creed trying to find his way out, but Brick has got him up. Scoop slam. Making the tag. Here comes Jason Xavier again. Nathan Brick up to the middle rope. Oh, big leg drop oh, by Brick. Big leg drop. Standing elbow drop. Another one for good measure. Oh, and now we there get the we little two-step. Oh, oh, what a oh. knee drop as well. One, two, two kick out at two. No, not just a kick out. Midas Creed gave a shot a to the blow. midsection. Oh, Jason Xavier is driving knees into the back of Midas Creed as he is down, and he is hurt right now. He has got to make a tag if they're going to have a chance at this. Creed, they've just been working him down strategically and meticulously on this, and it is a fantastic match right now for the appeal. Ooh, hammering blows across the chest here by Jason Xavier. Up, up, 
The SPW Universe trying to back their man Midas. Will they certainly out? are. Let's they see. are looking for the 24 karat magician to pull off some magic right now. Oh, a jawbreaker. Ooh. He's coming off the ropes. Oh, standing drop Ooh. kick. Momentum. Jason Xavier put Stop. that to bed real quick. Two count, near fall. Here's another one. Kick out at oh. one. Referee's not paying attention. You know he's going to hear it from the appeal. Absolutely. You got to make sure. These are the champs. They deserve respect. You need to be counting when they're ready to, to pinfall. Oh, look at this. More. Looks almost like a Muay Thai uh, strategy with those driving those knees into the midsection from down yes. there. What's he setting them up for? This is Creed's. Oh, Creed slips out of it. Oh, big spinning heel kick by Midas Creed. He's made the tag, and here comes Dante Daring. Made the bricks into the into the match as well. Dante Daring with the big big clothesline. Another one for Jason Xavier. Another big back elbow there. An elbow for Xavier, and Dante Daring is absolutely on fire. The devil is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Thunder Bomb. Oh wow. Dante, Dante Daring, Daring is putting in the work right, right now. now. Nathan Bricky slips through. Oh, big super kick. And another one. Side kick. Oh. Standing V trigger. German suplex. Wow. Big boot and the moves and the, the offense is fast and furious. Oh, big cannonball sent up by Midas Creed. Here we go. New champs. One, two, and the breakup by Jason Xavier. There you go. That's teamwork right there by Xavier. Xavier tossing Midas to the outside. Oh, big midsection kick there. He's asking for the DNR. Jason fighting out. Oh, oh, what a cutter. Oh, that was an amazing cutter off the corner right there. Good God. Steps under. Here comes Creed. Oh, the Midas touch. He hits the Midas touch. This could be it. You got to. But Dante's the legal man. Dante's the legal man. Midas Creed. He says he's Creed's going to the going top rope. You know, here, you know he loves to fly, but Brick is up. Brick knocks him down. Brick with some shots. He's setting him up. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, He's Brick, be... no. Superplex oh, off the top oh, rope. Midas Creed is folded in half. Nathan Brick. That is one. Dante Daring on the top ball. rope. Oh. Ooh, lands on the back of Nathan Brick. Everyone is down. Everyone is hurt. These four do not like each other, and it shows this has been an absolute war. Midas is fighting his way up. Xavier is slowly getting up as well. There we go. Now everyone's slowly making their way to their feet here. Right hand by Midas. Uppercut by Xavier. They are now, this is no longer a match. This is just broken down into a fight. This is a brawl, ladies and gentlemen. Two teams that do not like each other, just swinging fists. Oh, THC Ooh. ducks under. Double clothesline over the top rope. Oh. And you're not safe on the outside, gentlemen. You know these two love to fly, and I think that's what they've got uh -oh. in mind, Dave. Stereo Tope Suicidas, and the appeal is down. And so is some of the front row crew. It looks like an absolute car crash out there, Dave. THC looks to be double teaming here on, uh, on Nathan Brick. They roll him back in. Xavier has now gotten Midas Creed, throws him into the post. Ooh, right in the face. Dante calling for it. Xavier pushes him out of the way. Oh, he hits wow. him with the standing drop kick. That Claymore Teamwork kick. Teamwork right there. Brick's still the legal man, so is Dante. Oh, Brick with a oh, giant oh. pump kick. Jason. With a taste of his own medicine for him there. He's telling Jason to get up. Is he got it? What has he got in mind? It looks like he may be setting him up. Is it time? Bottle, baby. Let's do it. Champagne and caviar. Champagne and caviar. The appeal looked to be retaining. 
One, two. Yeah, count that's one. No, with the save, Midas Creed came flying oh, across the ring, and this match will continue. Talk about the Midas touch, huh? Goodness. Big super kick and throws Jason Xavier down. Spinning heel what? kick. Oh. Dante Daring is up. They're calling for Rick it. They're going to set him up. Lucian's on the ring ropes. Lucian on the apron. Here comes Xavier. Oh, no. They're going to get it again. Who pushes? Wow. Dante Daring pushing the corner. Not the belt. Brick with the belt. Yeah. Dante Daring is down. Not this, not Any this again. Means necessary, Maddie. Two, three, and the appeal Damn, are gonna ruthless. steal this one again. Just once, David. Just once, I'd like to see the appeal win without having to cheat or rely on Lucian Delight. By any means necessary, by hook or by crook, they're keeping those belts. It seems to only be by crook, David. This is a travesty. Every this week, every wrestling. month, the THC come out here and they, they put on the better match and they should win, but every month they walk away empty-handed and it usually has to do with something something to do with Lucian Delight. You know, you'd think they'd learn to come out with even numbers or something. It's just maybe that might help settle the score a bit, but every week that they lose or every month that they lose, it, it seems to be because the appeal is just a little more creative. That sounds like... Hey, it's Sir Samurai, everybody. What do you think, it's Samurai? Yes. Yes. It's gonna be a ladder match, ladies and gentlemen. And that he said three on three too. Yes, That's the even, entire team, the ladder. entire appeal. It's gonna be a three on three ladder match, ladies and gentlemen, at one supreme night. This wow. is shaping up to be absolutely epic. Epic, I tell you. They are going to take those SPW Tag Team Championships and hang them from the roof inside the SPW Arena. And all three members of each team are going to be in action in a ladder match for the tag team titles. I can't wait. This is the first time in years that I've seen a ladder match take place in SPW. I can't remember the last ladder match that we had. We've got a ladder match. We've got an I quit match, David. This is shaping up to be absolutely amazing. What do you think about a ladder match? It's going to be one hell of a show. And the announcement of a ladder match? Are you kidding me? I mean, last week we covered the extreme match with Guapo and, and Bobby Callahan. That was an intense match enough by itself. But a ladder match coming to SPW, I don't even know what to expect. And the fact that it's a three-way tag, a trio's tag team match, but for the the doubles tag team championship this doesn't make it even more interesting and so many more dynamics to think about when it comes to this match absolutely and i mean good for good good for samurai he's doing what's right doing what he knows the spw universe would like to see i mean everybody love loves everybody loves sir samurai i mean honestly Look, they look at him right now. He's still out there, and he's still waving and talking to the fo to the folks down there. I mean, look at this. He's out here right now, just talking to them. And oh my God, it's Shady Bishop, Surprise. the big uglies. Samurai. The big ugly attacks Sir Samurai from behind with a chair. He oh showed Samurai he does he means business for this next matchup. He's got Samurai by the hair. He's got a chair. This cannot end well. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't even aware that the Big Ugly was even in the building this week. I had no idea. Usually people oh, swim no. him a little bit when he's around. A chair over the face of Sir Samurai. Oh, no! Oh, goodness. Giving Sir Samurai a taste of what he intends to do to him for the I Quit match. Oh, 
He wants a mic. He's got something to say, I guess. That apparently a chair to the face of, of the sexy grandpa was not enough. Don't do it, Samurai. Say it. Say it. Yeah, that's right. Don't say it, don't Samurai. It. Oh my god. Is that a shiv? It looks like a shiv. We need some help out here. Somebody get out here right now. Oh my god, thank you. Referee Luke is coming to break it up. There's referee Abraham. Thank God. These Who knows what would have happened. The, the entire oh, locker room is spilling okay. out right now. Thank God they're there. That could have gotten ugly really quickly. Talk him down, boys. Come on. This is not what SBW is about. No, 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 no. Back him off. Hey, look at that. Abigail Warren's here, the big ugly's daughter. Bishop's and there as well. I'm still here. I'm too stupid to quit. Sir Samurai. He never says quit. You know You know this man is absolutely insane, J.D. Bishop. I don't know what you thought you were going to accomplish here tonight. Things are, thank God, things are, are calming down. Wow. J.D. Bishop still barking at Sir Samurai. Well, you know that J.D. Bishop's going into the I Quit match, and he means business. He absolutely does. Sir Samurai off the ropes. Sir Samurai over the top. JD Bishop slid under the bottom rope and avoided it. All hell is broken loose, and we have pure insanity in the building, ladies and gentlemen. They are brawling on the outside, trading shots. Sir Samurai with the chair to the midsection. Sir Samurai with the chair across the back. Oh, big shot in the midsection. Throwing Samurai into the post. At least they were able to get the weapon out of Sam. Oh! Kicks, chops. Oh, another kick to the midsection. Samurais. Oh, no. Oh, another chair Ooh. to the back. Oh. Trading blows. Samurai. These gentlemen are ready to go to war. They're already at war, Maddie. This is just one of the battles. Look at this. This is crazy. The entire locker room is having to break them apart right now. Look at this. JD Bishop, the big ugly at one end, Sir Samurai at the other end, two crowds holding them back. And the crowd wants to go, oh, Sir Samurai coming again. Splashes in there, they are, they are at it again, ladies and gentlemen. There's so much chaos, we can't even keep track of what is going on right now. My goodness. They finally got him separated, and I think that might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Sir Samurai is heading to the back right now. J.D. Bishop is being walked out of the building. He is having to go through the front door, can't even go through the locker room. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a very, very small appetizer of what you can expect in the I Quit match. These two wow. gentlemen have known each other for years and they are going to give everything that they got in order to win that match. And I cannot wait to see it personally. That is going to be unbelievable. The, the pure insanity wow. that just broke out into the SPW arena, though, David. I, did he have a shiv? He had a shiv. He had a legit... Not, oh. He didn't have a... He made a prison shiv with which he was going to shank the sexy grandpa Sir Samurai. This I match... Can't is going to be the most intense thing I think we've ever seen. I, I I thought that it was going to be that triple threat match, and then I thought it might be the fatal four-way for the extreme title match, but this one, this one seems personal. I, it, I'm a, going after the career of, it's, of Sir Samurai. It's not even just the career at this point. When he took that shiv out, he's going after the health and well-being of Sir Samurai. True. But you and I Very both true. know... Samurai's one crazy SOB, and he doesn't understand the word quit. I, I'm pretty sure he could have stuck him with that shiv right there, and it wouldn't have stopped him from continuing to fight. He would have, unless unless he actually killed him, which thank goodness nothing came close to that. But that would be the only thing that can get Sir Samurai to even utter those words. I would say you're but not wrong. 
he, he, he is absolutely crazy. And, and in his words, he's also pretty stupid because that he's, he's still here. He's too stupid to quit. And I'm well, excited to see how this unfolds at one Supreme night. Speaking of one Supreme night, just like we talked about, if you are ready to get your ticks and you're live here in chat, hit exclamation point ticks. That'll take you over to our Eventbrite page where you can get the tickets. Front row is sold out. So make sure you get your general admission tickets and also make sure you get that extra $5 ticket to go to One Supreme Expo. Ian David will be there. We'll be hosting a uh, promo booth. You can come over and cut a promo with us, $5 per person. Cut a 30-second promo, and we will go ahead and email it to you and get it over to you as soon as we possibly can. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, Not only that, but after the One Supreme uh, Expo, we're also going to have the Virgil Flynn Memorial Battle Royale. That is always a great time. I love that match personally honoring one of the Sacramento area's greatest trainers, greatest wrestlers, Virgil Flynn III, and to have some of his uh, some of his students like Midas Creed being a part of our promotion is absolutely an honor to be able to have that match for him. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we already know that there's going to be an I Quit match between Sir Samurai and the big ugly J.D. Bishop, and it looks like it's going to be a very intense match. Uh, not only that, but we also know that we've got Brian Cage going up against Guapo Lupe, going up against Daniel Torch, going up against just Zack for the Extreme Championship, Ooh. and, as announced here earlier tonight, a triple threat match for the SPW Championship. Drake Frost, as well as Scoot Robertson, are both challenging our current champion, Jekylls the Jester. Also scheduled to appear, you can see on the poster right now, Adam Thornstow will be there. Juicy Finale will be returning, as well as the Samoan Werewolf, Jacob Fatu. This is one stacked lineup. You're don't, you don't want to miss it. Make sure you get those tickets right now. Now, as for everybody else here, it's been an amazing episode here of Warpath, Dave. I, I personally was not knowing what to expect in a lot of those matches, and I got to say, I wasn't disappointed. I don't know about you. What do you think? I was I was very happy with these matches. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff happening. A lot of just you have to keep your eyes open during all of these matches because the, the smallest thing might change the might change the momentum entirely. And uh, you know, like the referee didn't have his eyes open at certain times during the uh, tag team match there. Well, that'll great. happen. But I'll tell you what. That'll happen. For everybody here at SPW, and on behalf of my brother David and everyone else, I want to say thank you for joining us, Warpath. David, send us out. See you next Thursday.